Hello guys, I am just a random fangirl and welcome back to my channel. So, this is Crazy Ex-Girlfriend episode number 4, season 1. I am going on a date with Josh's friend. So that is not spoilery, not at all. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm really enjoying this series so far. It's been great. I love the music. I love the characters. I really want to see where it's going. Like the whole thing. There are a lot of questions that I have. And one of them is why aren't there like more people watching this show? It is like so great so far. And you know, if the comment section in the, com <laughs> in the comment section, everyone is like, yeah, this is great, and this is one of the best shows out there, and, and I'm like, why? Why aren't more people reacting to this? Why? Why? Just why? I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm really curious to, to see where the story is going, but anyway, last time, Rebecca threw a party at her house, we learn some things about her past. I mean, not a lot, but we we learned that, for example, her father abandoned her and her mother when she was a kid, and it was uh, in one of her parties, and that was awful. Like, please don't do that to your kid. Like, that will scar you. That will scar you. So anyway. I am really mad at her dad. He's an asshole. I mean, I don't know, maybe maybe he does care about her. I don't know. I don't know. I am not going to make judgments so far because I I don't know much about the guy. I hope that we get to see more about her past, her life. What is the series of events that led her to where she is? now and who she is now so yeah i got a lot of questions <laughs> but um as i was saying this series has been great i am loving it and okay so um by the title i guess that rebecca is going on a date with josh's friend <laughs> and yeah that's it so um, if you're watching this on YouTube, this is going to be a highlighted reaction. Um, but if you want to catch the full-length, unedited, uncut reaction, you can check my Patreon account. I'm going to leave you that in the description box down below. Otherwise, let's get started. Okay. Are our choices. And this woman's choices are nuts. I mean, she's seriously bonker balls. Bonker Heather, balls. Don't use terms like that in abnormal psychology. Oh my god, it's it's a neighbor. I'm sorry, bonker balls isn't in the DSM five yet. Okay. <laughs> oh my I god. That's what she is. I, mean, I love I this. Have to like see it to believe it. Yeah, kind of. I don't know where the hell she came from. <laughs> I want. Ah, if you lean back on your tail. Yeah, that's only useful <laughs> advice if you're riding a dog. That's true. Okay, how long do we have to risk bodily harm? I thought you said Josh. Hit the skate park with his nephew every oh, Saturday okay. morning. Yeah, there it is. Mind. I just thought it might be fun to run into him, but I want to learn how to skate regardless. Sure you do. I want to shred some sure concrete. You do. And now that Valencia says that it's cool for me and Josh to hang out, oh. you know, I thought I would learn. Okay. So he and I could, like, chill and skate and hang. All right, well, when are you guys going to chill, skate, and hang out next? I mean, do you have a plan? No, oh, he hasn't contacted me per mm, se, that but is you not know, good. <laughs> that's what he does. <laughs> he pops up, disappears, pops up, disappears. No, honey, no. Oh, maybe this is him right now. Oh no, it's it's not him, but it it's uh, it's Instagram. A vacation in wine country. How lovely. Wine country. Oh, that sounds great. God. Boobs, abs, the hair. Oh. Even her wrists are pretty. Yeah, Valencia is pretty. Phase. Believe me, I've checked all of her. Audra Lavigne, now, that's a name. Audra Lavigne. My next dog is going to be called Audra Lavigne. That is a name. So now basically she has a life you could have had, almost had, but ruined with all 
your ridiculous choices. Sure. Okay. Kick her while so she's nice down. You, Mom. I'm hanging up now, yeah. but thanks for the salt in the wound. Yeah. At least it's kosher salt. <laughs> he <laughs> delivered you. Okay, screw your oh, mom. Oh god. That is bad. Audra Levine. Okay, you are doing Audra Levine. That's a no, great name. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call you later. I love it. No, no, Audra no, 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 no. Levine. This is gonna cheer you up. We're not supposed to therapy, know who that it's, it's is. It's right, right near the dress barn. No. Right near the dress barn. Come on, you love the dress oh, barn. Oh, dress oh, barn. Oh. Hey, don't skate sad. Or maybe at all. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I think so. Yeah, I mean, I did Tinder. That is weird. And I gotta say, I went on some like skeevy ass. Yeah, shows. Tinder. You use it for dates. Tinder is weird. Sex. You're looking You're for fine. someone to like pound the bad feelings out of you. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That could work. Yeah. Hi. If you okay. So don't this guy can meet you at a bar in 20 minutes. That's fast. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to like the song. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. This is the song. Leave it. Oh. oh God, no! Yeah, no. Stepping in the club, all those eyes on me. But they oh my God, I love this. That I see, you got a tight about the murder thing. Let me get back to playing with your thing. You got a beautiful ass, strong ass arms. Is that a gun? Oh, thank God, it's just your penis. <laughs> God, this is ridiculous. I love it. Most people don't know about the window. Hey, sexy stranger, let's go to my place. And please don't harvest my kidney. Don't give me that incredulous face. I saw a movie like that. Every song in this show. It's so relatable so in a I weird did. way. Oh no! Go wash your balls in the, shower. the donut. No, eat it. No, you eat the donut. <laughs> I made a deal with myself. Yeah, you stay strong. We made a deal. You were gonna ask out Rebecca, and I was gonna ask out Olivia, and I held up my end of the bargain like a man. <laughs> I love it. That how did that work kid. out? Kid. Well, she didn't really answer. She just made this like choking <laughs> laugh. Sound. That is bad. I think she has if I don't get a job soon, I'm, I'll have to work at my dad's radiology lab, which is like all cancer all the time. <laughs> I gotta do something else. All cancer. I'll take anything. Hey, I can ask Kevin if we're hiring here. Oh God, no! <laughs> Are you kidding me? I've completely given up. <laughs> That's, yeah. You may need to take a trip to your happy place. Are you guys talking about drugs? Because <laughs> drugs are bad. My cousin tried bath salts and she Ooh. ate off her own. Oh, um, healthy choices. Yeah. That applies to your dating life too, don't you think? Yeah, sure. like I think I really need to be like an older guy, maybe like a professor, maybe like. Wait, are you are you really doing this? Yeah. So I still like you, and I know I shouldn't. Yeah, I don't want you to. shouldn't. You're not that nice to me, and you're weird. <laughs> and yeah. I tell myself to stop thinking about you, but every time you show up, it's like, boom feelings and i know also that you have feelings for josh no i don't I, no, no. or say tan beef i almost taste the same oh god so won't you settle for me come on and settle for me say yes or no before i choke on all this swallowed pride i like this this is a I nice song no problem being picked up Let's pretend I didn't say that. Settle for me. I it's love this. Settle for me. It makes a certain sense. He's a fantasy. Oh God. But hey, let's think this through. Yes, Josh is a dream, but I'm right here in flesh and blood and self-hate. Settle for me in a sad way, darling. It's fate. <laughs> Can I just say how smart the lyrics are? Becca, I think I just said that. You just you don't think there's like any reason that I should? Honey, please just don't any embarrass. Don't, 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 you're embarrassing yourself Not and that myself. I can think uh, of. Nope, nothing. Well, I should God. run. Um, I gotta get That's this into law. Thank you so much. Oh, thank. Good uh, luck. God, please. You reference Kafka in it? It's like 
What did you go to Harvard or something? No, <laughs> no, no. I, I, I went, I went to Northridge and, and barely. Like, I never went to class. I just mean that <laughs> at no point do you even mention electronics or being into electronics, and this is an electronic store, so yeah, that I would be think huge. That he should. So have I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe been he should himself. Work at a place that sells books. Beautiful. That's why you have to be yourself. Tell us the times. The West Covina Taco Festival. The oh, a taco best festival. Thing to do in this town besides leave. I mean, I Mexico saw flyers is for this at taco festival hall. all around. This is so but cool, but what if it rains cool. again? With my luck, it probably will, because when I plan an outdoor date, it's the one rainy day. Are they day really tacos in the or five-year drought? The North American version of so, tacos. So, Gregory, we are on a date. Yes, we are. Yes. Okay. Yep. I'm trying to fight my base urges. <sighs> Just what a guy wants to hear on a date. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Those look like tacos. Wait. This is actually really good. Oh no no. Part of. I don't do cauliflower. They're like albino broccoli. Yeah. Okay. 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 They can't uh, talk. <laughs> don't think it's going to taste. You well. know what? This is pretty disgusting. Yeah. Mm. This is what I thought. Mm, garbage can. So funny. Like a handmade card with these terrible, like terrible stick figure drawings and a ton of glitter. Oh, and honey. every year, I would never hear back. Your dad's an idiot. He's. I mean, to be fair, glitter gets everywhere. Well, it sounded like he was a crappy father. He deserved glitter. I'd throw glitter at him right now. Me Could too. Stand here somewhere. Can we get some glitter over here? I'll go get the glitter. Anymore, Dad. He deserves so glitter all over Thank his house. Goodness. It's a Candles and indie bands. No, scoff if you want, but the hipster one is more authentic. What? How could guys with man buns know what is authentic? <laughs> okay, so Abuela's clearly had sour cream in it, and anybody will tell you that's not authentic Mexican guacamole. This is hilarious. No, it is not. You're suddenly an expert on authentic cuisine? Is this like your authentic veganism? What's that supposed to mean? It's very funny. It's cute, the vegan thing. It's cute. Thank it's you. cute. It's like oh God. how Here we go. you became Buddhist. Like we're normal. Some may say healthy. <laughs> Actually, I have to use the bathroom. Oh really yeah, quickly. she's so panicking. I'm go to one of those sexy porta bodies. Yeah, she's panicking. Mm. <laughs> oh no, you caught me. Don't worry, your secret is safe with me. Yeah, I knew it. I knew something was up with that guy. Are you kidding me? Uh, oh god, that is bad. So, what should I do with a two? A dude just left your apartment. You took some guy home from our date and slept with him? What is wrong with you? Sorry, yeah, that's I, I, messed I, up. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't I, understand. I, I, no, see, that's, that's it. You don't understand. Like, I'm not. I'm not an adult, like what we were doing back at the taco festival, like being like all adulty. That's just not me. I'm sorry. No, it's cool. I know you're writing a paper on me. You told me that, remember? <laughs> I like, feel kind of bad now. <laughs> Do you ever have one of those days where you've done something so horrible, it feels like you did it in a dream? Yeah. And you, you just want to wake up and you want it to be all okay, but there's no waking up because you did it for realsies. If you want to grab your laptop and take all this down, it's pretty fresh right now. You know what? Just you. No. Oh. You get some rest, kiddo. She cares in her way. I'm older than you. <laughs> Mentally? No, I don't think you are. Rebecca needs to grow up, and that is a long way ahead of her and I love her shoes seems to me like she doesn't fit into any of the categories of your little book Miss Davis she sounds like she's suffering from a number of classifiable disorders well like, I, I'm sure she is but you know what I don't want to label her I just want to be oh, a friend that's nice this class blows I quit I knew <sighs> I should have taken coding <laughs> That is, she's you so badass. Disgusted and uneasy with your current butter? 
make an effort, make a decision. Don't make mistakes. Gary, you've been coming up with some really intense copy lately. <laughs> Don't okay. get me wrong. The butter is flying off the shelves, but is everything okay? I left my wife for a prostitute. Damn. <laughs> Dude. Okay. That was something. Um, poor guy. Okay, so, first of all, I have to say that I don't know. I feel conflictuated. So, in one hand, I love how Rebecca and Greg are together. I believe that they are great. They have good chemistry. They have, yeah, they're great together. But with more and more and more episodes, I just realized that Josh is such a nice guy. Like, yeah, he's a little bit dumb, but I really like him. When we first met him, I didn't thought that I was going to like him, like, ever. I thought that he was going to be some jerk. And now I don't know. I don't know, I mean, from a shipping point of view, I ship Rebecca with both Greg and Josh. I think that she has chemistry and she's so cute with either of them. And I would be happy if she's happy. But on the other hand, I don't want Greg to be just the second choice. I don't want Rebecca to settle for him, because that's not nice, that's that's not going to make anyone happy in the long term, so either I want her to be alone, because she has a lot of issues she needs to work on, but that's another, <laughs> another thing, but um, yeah, with Josh, of course, I think that she is in love with him, but she also kind of puts him on a pedestal, you know? Like, I don't think that she's in love with Josh, the actual person, and more like the idea of Josh. And that's not fair for either of them either. So I think that Rebecca needs to grow up, and at least she's aware of the things that she's doing. We can't expect people to behave correctly all of the time. And Rebecca is not sure about what she's doing or why she's doing it, and she's not being honest with herself in any of this. So yeah, it's a pretty shitty thing that she did, but I get it. It's just that she needs to try to do best. That's it. So yeah, I really love all of the characters so far. That is that is something. But anyway, so... Um, oh yeah, and the relationship that Rebecca has with her mom... Um, it's not healthy. It's toxic. And I think that probably most of Rebecca's problems are traceable to her parents and I think that it's cool that we're seeing how it affects her because we, we, we know that she has abandonment issues because of her dad and that she she doesn't think too highly of herself because of her mom because I mean I don't know I just think that she doesn't have good autoesteem like when she says that she Greg shouldn't waste his time on her for example and I think that she was just trying to ruin things on purpose if that makes sense and she was panicking and Greg is not her first choice but anyway so I think that her relationship with her mom is really interesting. Also, I really like the relationship that she has with um, Heather. Heather. 
I, I really like it. I hope that they become actual friends in time. So yeah, th that's cool. I love all of the music in the show again, but that's that's normal. The show is pretty great. And Rebecca is doing healthier choices. Um, yeah, I think that we all been there and do healthy choices, make healthy choices. It's it's difficult. That being on, I don't know, like spiritual, um, food eating kind of thing, or in literally making healthier choices. It is, it is tough for everyone. And Greg asks Rebecca out in this episode. So again, like I said, I think that Greg is the actual romantic interest for Rebecca, but of course this is just this is just episode number four, so it makes sense that they are not together at the end of this. That would be just super easy. And also like look at this! This doesn't work when you are standing. I mean for for this for this to work, this desk should be a lot higher, right? Like for when you are standing up, you can write and see everything more comfortably? I don't know, I just think the design is weird. Anyway, so Josh is trying to get a job in this tech center. Rebecca helps him, but they think that he is overqualified because, well, Rebecca is really smart and then in their date, they go to a taco festival where musicians play Cielito Lindo. And I love their dynamic. I just I just love their dynamic. But of course, things cannot go well. Rebecca starts panicking. Then she brings this guy home. And, you know, crappy decisions all over. I don't know what is going to happen between Rebecca and Greg now because I don't... I don't see Greg forgiving this at least not for now, so yeah. But the good thing is that Rebecca has got a new friend, Heather, and Josh has his dream job. Let's see how that plays out in later episodes because maybe he will not like working there as much as he thinks he will. But for now, I really like the two main possible ships and yeah, I'm <laughs> really enjoying this. And the music, again, great. All of it. Um, I'm going to listen to it. So yeah, I think that that's it. I really love this episode, as always. And if you want to help out the channel, then don't forget, don't forget to leave a like or a comment. Follow if you haven't already. And I think that's it. So we'll be seeing each other on the next reaction. Bye, guys.